So it's, it's funny, I, I have softbox lights and a green screen just over there. And I guess I could use them. I'll probably start using them. But it didn't feel right to do one of these warm-ups other than sitting in the chair by the window. Um, I did a bunch of things this week, but the single biggest thing I did, I uh, was organizing my personal finances, or rather the transaction data from all the uh, various endpoints that I do them in. And holy God, the data that you get from various financial institutions just blows. I mean, the only thing that you get for the most part is like a detail uh, field that is just a chum bucket of other fields that have been, you know, truncated, then concatenated together, then truncated, then concatenated, then truncated, then concatenated. And so what you get at the other end of it is just mud, basically. And, you know, I know there's intermediaries for that, but then you have to tell the intermediaries every financial burp and fart that you do. So that's, you know, not really acceptable either. And uh, so it's always like a fun little forensic thing. It's just like, what is this garbled thing? What does it mean? And then you got to go get the physical receipt and so on and be like, oh, yeah, right. That was it. But... I made the thing that is ingesting this as a sort of thing that I wanted to detect or rather wanted to determine, and I haven't really seen anything do this, but like longitudinal relationships with certain entities. Like I wanted to be able to see like, okay, like how many dollars have I ever paid my cell phone provider, for example, or, um, you know, how many dollars... Yeah, like how many dollars have I spent at a convenience store ever? Um, that kind of thing. And uh, the idea behind that, I mean, is really just to sort of determine like, you know, like whereas your typical sort of mint or whatever will tell you categories, which are a whole thing unto themselves, but... You know, I kind of was more interested in the relationships. You wanted categories, you can derive the categories. Um, but it seems to me that the relationships themselves, the sort of economic relationships that we have with entities that don't even think about it, that was really what I was targeting with it. Um, and it... You know, this, the funny thing about it is I, you know, I made this thing years ago and... Uh, Never even, I have the data for it, but I have never actually like done any viz for it or any, you know, anything like that. But I mean, the other thing too, that's also kind of interesting though, is um, what happens when you make a system dynamic, like, or rather you make a system computational. Uh, you'll notice, for example, that double entry bookkeeping doesn't make sense on a computer. If you've got a computer, you can have negative numbers, you can model the um, the payments as just like, you know, uh, from to amount, you know, uh, currency type or whatever. I mean, one of the other things actually that I wanted this thing to do was have it be, enable it to determine like, okay, like, let's say I work for a client, they pay me X dollars, and I work Y hours for them, then it would determine the exchange rate, the sort of instantaneous exchange rate at the time. And, and what I really wanted to see was like, if I go to the store, I don't have this capability yet, but uh, that would, it would require scanning the receipts for everything, the physical paper receipts, which, I mean, why not just stick a QR code at the bottom of it with a CSV in it for the contents of the receipt? That would be amazing, but, you know, a little ask. And that's, of course, not assuming that you're, um, you know, that you're banks. But, like, you know, the itemized receipts, uh, wouldn't that be nice to determine? It's like, okay, well, I went and I bought this thing for this do these dollars. And just tracking the consumer prices over time. Because you're, you're getting that data. 
but you're not getting it in a way that is convenient enough to do any computation or any kind of insight gathering over it. And I think it's just kind of funny, like one of the things that I sort of think about is like how sophisticated inventory control and whatever is for companies, but individuals don't have that sophistication. They, for example, like how many times have you bought something that you, you know, then you come home and you open a drawer or whatever and it's like, oh, like I already had AAA batteries, like why did I buy more or whatever, that kind of thing. Like that's got to happen all the time. I mean, boomers in their fridges, God. Anyway, so that's my, my thought of the morning as I <laughs> go into the last little bit of uh, farting around with my um, transaction data. Anyway, now I'm going to finish my coffee.